Hello friends in this video we are going to discuss the implementation section of the static IP routing with the two routers this is extension of the IP routing with one network that we have already covered but if you want the every basic details of this implementation then you can go through another video the link is given in the description box in this video we are just going to cover the implementation section for those who know about the basic of these basics of these concepts so let's start the implementation here we have two networks that are connected through this one router that we have already implemented this uh, this section this complete network with IP routing in one router now we are extending this network to connect to another router that is connected to another network so for the simplicity I have provided class A addressing the addressing of first network is 10.0.0.0 so here this is the class A addressing for uh, first network and this is another network with class A addressing of 20.0.0.0 so here network ID is 10 here the network ID is 20 and here the network ID of class A is 30 rest I have used the host IDs uh, in the same pattern like 10.1.1.1 so for second host I am using dot two. for second network IP address for the first host, host is in the same pattern as the first network 20.1.1.1 20.1.1.2 is the second host ID similarly for the third or newly added network we are also assigning the same pattern uh, IP address in same pattern as 30.1.1.1 and 1.1.2 so here I have already configured these hosts but routers are not configured yet because you need to know every step and the details of every implementation step for the routers configuration. So here just let's, let's watch the configuration of these hosts as we know that while we are communicating through routers three things are required one is the IP address second is the subnet mask and third is the gateway so for every network we need a network ID subnet mask host IP addresses and the gateway okay so similarly you need to define these things for every network so let's check the configuration of this system as this the IP address is 10.1.1 we are uh, talking about this system you can check the uh, system number with this label so here 10.1.1 is the first system subnet mask is this and the gateway is this I have taken the third address third available address of these network as the gateway address you can use any uh, address of the network okay but the gateway address of a network must belong to the network it cannot be 20.1.1.3 here as the network is with network ID 10 okay similarly for this system for this network I am using 20.1.1.3 as a gateway address of this network now for every host you need to provide these three things first is IPv4 address subnet mask and here is the third thing that is gateway because router connect to a network through gateway only and you must know the port number where uh, the a network is connected through this defined gateway okay so we will configure the router for these gateways but let's first configure the host so for the second system also I have provided the IP address 10.1.2 and this is the subnet mask and last is the gateway as 10.1.3 for every system in this network gateway will be same for one network we need to define one gateway only similarly for the second network let's check the configuration 20.1.1 and the gateway is 20.1.1.3 okay similarly let's check uh, any system of this network here for this uh, this PC or this host the network ID uh, or the IP address is 20 30 dot as it belong to th network with ID 30 so the IP address is 30.1.1.2 and the gateway is 30.1.1.3 you can use class B or class C addressing of your choice I am just using class A addressing uh, so that we can easily write and uh, easily demonstrate the facts okay so next now we need to configure the routers for these connected ports for these gateways okay for this port we need this gateway for this port we need this gateway and similarly for this port we need this gateway okay so let's configure uh, and 
the uh, routers for these uh, connected networks only then we will uh, configure the router for the other routers okay so firstly you must know the port number where the router is connected okay so for that if you are not aware of the port number if you have used automatic connection let's just turn on this thing always show the port labels so after this you can easily visualize the port number where the connections are made so here we have connected this router with fast ethernet 0 slash 0 and for this fast ethernet 1 slash 0 okay so let's configure the network this router for both of these connected port so can go to configuration for this first fast ethernet 0 slash 0 firstly we need to turn it on and provide the gateway of gateway address of this first network so it is 10.1.1.3 okay and the subnet mask is taken automatically right so this is the gateway of first network connected to fast ethernet 0 slash 0 i have opened fast ethernet 0 slash 0 you can see here next for next ethernet fast ethernet 1 slash 0 we have connected another network so we need to provide the gateway of another network that is 20.1.1.3 for this gateway and the subnet mask is taken you can see the dots turned green over here because we have turned the connection on and we have configured the connection but here the dots are not uh, not turned green because we have configured but we have not turned it on so let's simply turn it on so the router is configured for these two default we can say the default routings because these are directly connected to this router okay connection is done for these two networks now let's just configure this router we can see the label over here is fast ethernet 0 slash 0 so configure the network fast ethernet 0 slash 0 and simply turn it on at the gateway of this so the gateway is 30.1.1.3 you can use any ip as gateway unused ip of the network as gateway but the same you must provide within the host okay so for host configuration as well you need to provide the same gateway address so here the configuration of the routers is done so the routers are uh, are active within the network okay let's check this with uh, a simple packet data unit whether this host is reachable by this host or not so uh, uh, status is successful let's check for this right hand side network let's try to send something from this host to the router the status is again successful let's check for another network here the host is yes host is connected with the router so for all routers routers are that means the routers are configured uh, perfectly for the connected network for the directly connected network but now we need to configure the router for another router okay so we need to connect the router with another router that i have not connected yet so for that you need to use serial dte cable or you can also use the crossover cable to connect the similar devices but it has a limitation of the shorter distance we means you cannot use it for the longer distance so we will be using the standard serial cable for the connection and we will be connecting it to the serial port so here i am connecting it to serial port 2 slash 0 2 slash 0 for both side i have taken the same port serial 2 slash 0 you can use another serial port uh, for different routers there is no not an issue so now just to clear the things i can turn off this labels to make the things more clearer then uh, after adding this to serial port serial 0 slash uh, 2 slash 0 and here also serial 2 slash 0 we need to provide the ip addresses means as we have configured these ports for these gateways for this also this is another network network 1 2 3 and this will be your another network so for this network also you need to provide ip addresses or we can say the identification numbers for these connected serial ports so let's configure the serial ports 
here two slash zero i need to provide an ip address to this router so let's take another network as 40 10 after 10 20 30 i am taking 40 you can take any uh, network one dot so i am following the same pattern and i have turned it on and the ip address is provided as 40 dot one dot one dot dot one okay so similarly for the second router also i need to configure or provide an ip address so the ip address provided here is 40 dot i have already labeled the router with the same IP, same ip address and turn it on okay so as i clicked on the uh, i as i switched it on after that you can see the green dots over here so we can say that these routers are connected to each other let's check by sending a packet data unit so routers are connected as we have checked from this router to this router connection is possible and we are getting the successful state uh, delivery of the packets but if you try to communicate with any host connected to any network with another networks router then you will get a failure as we try to connect this host to this router the uh, status is failed okay means the communication was not possible similarly from this system from the host of one network to another uh, networks router if we try to communicate we will get a failure because the routers are connected but they are not aware of other networks means this router is aware of this router but not of this network similarly this router is aware of this router but not of these network so for this we need to make them aware of the other routers connected network this is called static routing where we are we, as admin we need to define the static path for these network means if any host from this network want to connect to this network we must provide a path from this network from this network to these networks okay so this will be the next hope so for these network this router will be the next hope and the network here is just uh, let me just label the network so the network here is 40.0.0 so the network is this 40.0.0 so we must communicate for any connection we must be able to communicate through this network okay so this network is 40.0.0 for uh, from this router we will be moving to this network and then to network 10 or network 20 similarly from this router we will be moving to network 40 then to network 30 so this will be the path this is called static routing that we need to configure the router for these paths routers are unaware of their connected networks so let's just configure the router go to static config we have opened the first router so for from the first router i need to define a path to this network mean network with id 30 so our target network is 30.0.0 while configuring the routing pass you need to define the network addresses only not the ip addresses of any host or the gateways you need to define the network address only and the subnet mask will be 255. Dot subnet mask of the network now the next hope next hope is this but here while defining the static route you need not to define the ip address or any configured address of this router you will be defining the network address of the router okay so the network address is 40.0.0 and just simply click add okay as this router is connected to one network only so we have configured or added the path to one network via this network okay and this will be the next hope okay done now let's just configure this router as this router is connected to this router and having the path for two further connected networks so we will be defining two path over here one, uh, one for the target network 10.0.0.0 and the mask is and the next hope network is next 
just to make it clear next hope is this but next hope network is this so here we need to define networks only network hope uh, next hope network so simply click on add one path is added from this router to this network but we need to add path for this network as well so simply this time our target network is 20 subnet mask is this and the next hope is this next hope is same for this network or this network as this is the inter this is the only intermediate network so simply click on add now the starting routing part is set means we have already set the routes for these networks static in static mode so we can say that the routers are configured with static routing and you can be able to communicate within these networks so let's try sending one packet data unit from this host to another host this host in another route uh, host so for the first time we got the failure let's try again it takes some some time after configuration the routers and switches take some time to configure and boot so let's try to send the simple packet data unit again from this host to a host connected in another network so this time the status is successful similarly you can also check that this system is reachable uh, to this router now you are getting a successful status status similarly from this host the router this uh, router or outside router is also reachable here we are getting the successful status over here let's try sending this to this and the status is successful that means we have configured the routers and the systems with static routing perfectly and the connections are okay okay then bye see you to, uh, see you in the next video with the dynamic routing where we are defining the paths or uh, not defining the complete path just the networks for dynamic uh, adoption routing till then bye and take care